A few years ago, back at a university party, I was doing the usual. Playing games, drinking juice, dancing, and other forms of entertainment. The night was carrying on into 4 in the morning, and I remembered that I had to be back home and in bed by 4.30 before my dad noticed my absence. I had forgotten to take my medication that night, so before I left, I took my pills and washed it down with the nearest liquid. Seeing that it was now 4.04 and it took 20 minutes to get home, I had to leave ASAP. The night was now foggy and the lights were appearing brighter than normal, almost blinding. I raced onto the expressway and couldn't see anything in front of me. I turned on my high beams and that's when I noticed two black vehicles behind me with tinted windows following me. Could they be undercover cops? I thought. They couldn't be. I hope not, because I was underage and my license was suspended. If they had breathalyzed me, I would have been caught and my dad would have definitely found out and killed me. So I tried to maintain a perfect posture while hiding the utter dread that was written all over my face in the rear view mirror. I checked my dashboard clock and it was now 4.13. All of a sudden now, I had looked up and the road started to swerve a little. What was going on? I know I had consumed a little alcohol, but not enough to this effect. Then that's when the two cars behind me turned on their lights and raced ahead of me. They were just typical street racers. A sigh left my mouth, and all the intensity of the situation had diminished. Or so I thought. What is that? I looked into the foggy night sky, and that's when I saw them. I had never completely believed in aliens and UFOs, but what I was looking at now had to be real. Six hovering, moving lights ahead of me in the sky. I immediately slammed my brakes on the highway in terror. I was fighting with everything I believed in, everything I had come to know. Is this real? I asked myself. Is this true what I'm seeing? Please tell me I'm dreaming or imagining something. The lights became brighter and closer now. I had to make a split second decision and I chose to gun it home. I would rather be around people if something happened than to disappear off the face of the earth with people never knowing why. I had seen too many articles about disappearances and I was not going to be next. I immediately flung the door open and jumped back into my car and raced home, maxing out my speedometer. Not even Speed Racer could challenge me. There wasn't a soul on the road that night that could strike terror into my heart. This is it. I'm going to be caught. So I said forget it. Running through red lights and tail whipping around corners, I was set to make it home. Looking frantically between the road and the mirror, I didn't know what to fear more. The thought of crashing any second or being abducted. Finally, two blocks away, I was almost home and I looked into my rear view mirror. Nothing was there. Where did the lights go? What's going on? As I slowly turned off my lights and pulled into my driveway, my biggest fear had hit me. Even after all of the ridiculousness that had happened in the past 20 minutes, I had noticed that my dad's truck was already gone. I'm dead. How will I ever get out of this? I can't. At that moment, I hoped I would be abducted then, but I wasn't. I was left to a worse fate. It's 4.23 a.m. I walked into my room and closed the door, waiting for the phone call, waiting for a light to flip on and my mom to tell me that my dad was going to have a talk with me, knowing we weren't going to be talking. As I lay there with my eyes at the ceiling in a pitch black room, I could only hear the speed of my heartbeat beating rapidly. It's over. I hear my doorknob slowly turning. Or is it? My heart is beating out of my chest and I'm sweating now. Staring frantically at the door, I could only face what walked through the door. I saw a tall, dark figure walk over to me and put its heavy hand on my chest. And I heard, Hey, I'm off work today. I'm gonna need your help. Get some sleep. It was my dad. 
By his Listerine scented breath, I knew it was him. So I wondered, was I losing it? I needed sleep, so I decided to take a double dose of my medicine to help me sleep. And that's when I saw it. Warning, do not take medication with alcohol. Could cause dizziness, lightheadedness, and hallucinations. What up guys, this is Graveyard Golgotha, and thank you so much for listening. For those of you who might be on the skeptical side because of the humor in the end of the story, yes, this is a true story from a subscriber and a very close friend of mine. If you haven't already, please scroll down and smack that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to join the underground today. Also, if you guys have any scary personal stories, please email me your stories and you just might be featured in my next video. Just make sure you give me your permission in the message so that YouTube doesn't take my firstborn son. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.